So, I also wanted to let you guys know that a very, very lovely family of mine, uh, the Blush family, has started their YouTube. If you never had a chance to watch Sovereign Living, the TV show, check that out on YouTube. They had an awesome production, and they uh, worked really hard to raise money through a GoFundMe, or uh, I think it was maybe Indiegogo one or the other funding campaigns. And I know a lot of other content creators and people that have um, wanted to create documentary uh, films have tried to raise money through GoFundMe or um, a Kickstarter of some kind. I've never seen it be very easy for people to raise the money ahead of time because you're basically saying all right, I'm going to have this awesome content and you're not going to see it until after you've given me $150,000. And that's a little hard for people to grasp sometimes. I mean, unless you have a very large network of people who know your work and support your work and will pledge to see more of your work in the future, it's a little bit difficult. So what Patreon has done is they've created a way that content creators can share their content and get pledged per video or per month, depending on how much content they create. And really, it's your decision um, how you choose to go forward with this. With some of my other friends that have patrons do a monthly campaign, and I have expressed to them if they are going to be do doing edited, uh, like long edited videos, like 13 minutes or so, that maybe uh, if, even though they're releasing lots of content, a month they could still release lots of content but then only charge their patreons per video and maybe only charge them per like for three videos per month from the research that i did i found that patrons who chose a per video account um on average don't charge their patrons more than three times a month so if you're creating really awesome quality content, for example, like a weekly sailing video show documentary style, um, and you do three a month or something, it's worth asking your patrons to support you for that because if you think about reality TV shows and the amount of production that goes into them, how much money all of the people that are paid to do the reality TV shows and then the editing, the cutting, and all of the crap that they put in, everything has changed now. And you no longer have to rely on television for your content. In fact, I have found a much more fulfilling uh, experience watching YouTube videos. I wish more of them weren't monetized so that I didn't have to watch ads on some of my favorite shows because that's kind of the whole reason why I left television to begin with was so that I could skip the ads, which is why Undocumented Human has not monetized our YouTube channel. We don't want to force people to watch ads. It sucks. So if you want to financially support our content and keep us ad-free on YouTube, please come over to Patreon and become a patron supporter. We would really appreciate knowing that there's more of you out there who want to continue watching our content and seeing what we are going to be up to.
solar panel. I want to hear this. Okay. How a, a, a single man with barely any income can go off the grid by himself. That's basically okay. what you're about to tell Mike, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could buy just one 12 volt battery and you could get like one of those, um, well, you could buy like a 12 volt, you could either buy a 12 volt self-regulating panel or you could buy yourself a really, they sell like these really cheap 12 volt charge controllers for like, for like, uh, like 20 bucks. You just buy like a little cigarette lighter adapter, hook it up to the battery, and then you plug your inverter into that and then you're good to go. Like a little, like, like, like a little 120 watt inverter. How big a solar panel? Just one 12 volt, like 100 watt panel would be fine. So how big is it? Oh. Tiny, tiny, it's maybe three feet by a foot. You're plugged in. You're talking about just charging like laptops, cell phones, things like that. Hi, everyone. Alma here. I just wanted to check in with you all. I'm in the process of editing our next video, and I wanted to say thanks to Adventure Adrift on YouTube. They have an awesome channel. They're sailing, they're about to leave Portland, they're looking for crew, and they mention their new patrons on their channel, and so I I just knew I had to give them a little support and send them a pledge. So I did, and they mentioned us on the video, and that was pretty exciting. I will later. How are you enjoying your time off? Wow. Nice sound. Well, if I really haven't had a day off, not so much. <laughs> grapes. Neil, you need to feed me grapes. And fan him. And fan me. <laughs> Obedience I also wanted to let you guys know that if you do become a patron, you will have access to exclusive footage that is not being released publicly on YouTube. Whose shoes are you wearing? Whose shoes are those? You wearing mommy's shoes? interested in seeing the content that we create for Patreon, please stop on by. You can find our patron at patreon.com slash undocumented human. Lo siento mama, tell decepcione. Lo siento, mamá, te decepcioné. Yo sé que cuando tú despiertes, para ti yo estaré. Explain to us what you're doing. I'm connecting the AC directly to the generator. The generator incoming to this panel that I have disconnected because we have solar, so. Just a sec. All right, it's done. Another thing I wanted to talk about, I did a uh, podcast called Seeds for Liberty. And there's some really awesome people that I got to meet on that podcast. And if you check out my Patreon, you can see the link for that there. It was an episode about the Jackalope Freedom Festival. This is going to be the fifth annual Jackalope Freedom Festival in existence. Um, the dates are August 1st through 8th. 
and it is free to camp, vend, and attend. It's in National Forest. It's actually, if you want to get more specific, it's on uh, the land has no parcel information. So really, it's not owned by anyone. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's the only free piece of land left in America. And you can come there and camp, and you don't need permission to do so. Uh, we get donations for porta potties every year. So a different individual um, accepts the challenge and takes it amongst themselves to organize that with an individual who is local in Heber Overgard, and so it's kind of cool that we get to give more local people business by creating and attending events or non-events like Jackalope. So Jackalope's motto is where spontaneous order happens naturally without any force, coercion, or aggression. It's not something you hear very often. You don't hear that you're going to drive down the road and not be aggressed upon. Most likely you're looking over your shoulder for a cop and hoping you're not going to get pulled over for nothing. If you're living in the valley and experiencing that mindset and that life and, you know, wasting your life away at your slave job and red lights. So if you want to stop doing all that, it's basically a choice away and you can change what you're doing right now. Um, there are many people out in the world who are supporting you to quit your slave job and uh, buy a sailboat and go sailing or buy an RV and go full-timing and never have to worry about a debt or overhead or any of that stuff ever again. All right, well, that's my update for now, and I hope you enjoy the video that comes with this update. Peace, love, liberty, See ya.